In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to work with pages in Vinyl Master. And to do this, I'm going to come up and open a uh, job I've designed earlier, which is this one here. Now, Vinyl Master is a multi-paged uh, program, and you can have different size pages in the one document, and up to as many pages as your hard drive can handle. So there's very few restrictions on your pages in Vinyl Master. And down here we have our page navigation, so we can go through page 1, 2, 3, and 4 and we can go to the end and to the start and to the end by clicking on these buttons and scroll through page at a time. Another thing we can do is go to the page thumbnail view which is a very handy tool by clicking on this docker down here and that opens up our page thumbnail viewer and as we go through we can see our different pages. We can also move pages between themselves as well. It's a very handy tool that. Okay. The other thing we can do is we can easily create new pages and we can delete pages, we can extract pages, we can do all sorts of things. So to show you some of those things, I'll go to the end of this document and by clicking on this button down here I can go add a page and this just copies the size of the previous page which is 32 by 36 inches. Now you can readjust the size of the page visually. There's this little red button or red dot down here that if you left click on this, it says resize page, I can actually move the size and it reports the new size of the page I've got, which is this size here. Now it's 15 by 17 inches. I can go in here and I can type in a numeric value, 24 inches by say 24 inches. And let's say I make that 36 inches and I want to make this landscape. I simply click on this button here. And when I'm in object mode and uh, I've got nothing selected, I get all these page options up here. And there's quite a number of them. There's all these page options here showing background and I can turn the border off for example so I've got no page border and I can say turn that back on whoops I meant to turn that back on and you can set all sorts of things there's also this tool here which is the page setup this has its own lesson and you can come back to that at a later time um, and we can also go to page and we can add and remove or add another page here if I want to remove this page very quickly, I can in my thumbnail view, I've got this little button here, delete page, that page is now gone. I can also create a new page like that, now I've got that page back. So adding and deleting pages is very easy. If I want to set my page size to an uh, existing paper size or a metric size, banner or a blank uh, size, I can click on this drop down here and I'll see all these options I've got, all these page sizes and we provide American and British and Japanese page sizes we've provided you with some uh, imperial banner sizes here and metric ones which cover a very wide scope of standard banner sizes uh, both in imperial and metric same with um, standard sign blanks uh, and some of the more uh, unusual sizes like uh, Japanese envelope sizes and American sizes uh, envelope sizes and all the standard run of the mill sizes you'd expect to see for example letter like uh, legal and uh, and all the standard sizes so if I say make this A1 I can then click on this button to make it landscape so that's how I change my page sizes by using this tool here now if I want to go to say the beginning of this document let's say I want to insert say three pages after page one come to this menu up here layout menu and I can go insert pages so I click on that and this little window pops up and I can type in say 3 and click OK and now I've got pages these three new pages as you can see in the thumbnail viewer added to the document and just as easily as I've added those three pages I can actually delete them all of them in one go I just come up to this layout menu again and I get click on delete pages and this window pops up, this page selection window, and I can actually select by holding down the control button on my keyboard, I can actually multiply select these pages and go delete. And as you can see, they're removed from the document. So adding and deleting pages is very easy. I can also go to a page, I can click on this button here, and it brings this the page selector back up again, and I can say I want to go to page one, and click accept. That's very handy if I've got, say, you know, a hundred page document, I can jump around. I can also do it here by clicking in here and I can type in say 3 and I can go straight to page 3. So page navigation with these tools is very easy in Vinyl Master and I can go to page up here as well by clicking on this. Other things I can do is I can extract pages. I can make a new document by extracting some pages and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, before we go to that I'll show you how you can copy uh, 
information from one page to another. If I go to say the end here and I look at this page here, I might want to copy uh, some of the information from say page one. So what I do is I go to layout, I go copy from page, and I might want to copy the guides from page one. So I click on guides, I get the page selector, and I say I want to copy the guides from page one. I click apply, and there are my guides. Now they're relevant to the size of the other page. So if, for example, I wanted to copy them onto an exact same size page, I just press plus here, I've got this page, I go to layout, I come down to copy from page, and I go, I want to copy those guides from page one, apply and as you can see they're, they're applied in as they were. I could also for example copy the um, the shapes from that page from page one. There you go, select page one, apply, there are the shapes. So I've got the uh, page down here which is an exact copy of page one on page six and that's how you can copy information from one page to another. Now as far as extracting pages which is something that is quite a useful tool in Vinyl Master Let's say I want to make a new document using pages, um, say pages 1, 2 and 3. I want to create a new document with those pages. I don't want to go select over it, go control, control copy, paste and all that sort of nonsense. I just want to do it in one very simple operation, very easily in Master. All you do is you go to the layout menu okay, and you go extract pages. Click on that and you get this option of selecting which pages you want to extract. So I'll extract pages 1, 2 and 3. Okay, I click select and I can create a new job here, I'll call it uh, say job 9 and I can click save and now if I click on the fly out here I've now got these three jobs or these three pages on this job here sorry I have to open that job to see that job but that's what you do, you, you simply you simply uh, I'll just save this and then we'll open this job up. Scroll down to here, job 9, click open, there's job 9. And as you can see I've got my three pages I've just extracted, pages 1, 2 and 3, just like that. So you can create page sizes, you can extract pages and do all those sorts of things using these tools up here. You can view pages using the thumbnail viewer and you can navigate around your pages like that. And that's the end of this lesson.